I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. Go to hell. I'm already there, Bruce. Right alongside you. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed. And you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Just... Give me some time to think it through, okay? This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. It doesn't quite add up. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. Batman doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. A 
loved that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. You owe me, Harvey, and now I need your help. Those are donations, not loans. You're not entitled to a pound of flesh. Hell, I'll settle for a handshake and a blind eye. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but uh, it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. I'm gonna call you on that. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Not this time. 
Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? I bet you came to kick some answers out of me, huh? Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? <sighs> Far did it. You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. <laughs> They're waiting for you in hell! The 
bastard had to die. <sighs> Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in, and we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story, or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I should have. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... 
I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Montoya remembers being drugged. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Let's just focus on the task at hand. Fair enough, Master Bruce. But if you learned something about your parents' murder, I deserve to know. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. 
It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. 